YouTube. So what is this video all about? It's about 2016, my year in review, some of the highlights that happened with my photography business and just the different pictures that I took and some of my favorites. And then also um, to talk about 2017, my goals, my plans, and really what's to come. So anyways, um, I wanted to get this up more or less around New Year's. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to take the video, but it's been raining like crazy here in California, so I thought I would just, you know, do the video and share it with you guys because I really wanted to share um, my 2016 in review, and I really wanted to share what's to come and what you guys can expect to see um, for 2017. So, what happened in 2016? You know, um, a lot, a lot happened with my photography business. As most of you know, I started my photography business in 2015. Um, 2016 was a phenomenal year. I, um, I started this channel. So why? Why did I start this channel? It was a big deal for me. I am not good in front of a camera. I get fairly nervous, so um, I stumble over my words, and it was a big step. It all started with one picture. It all started with going out to take pictures of the blue moon. Um, it was late at night. It was a talk about planning and scheduling and making sure you were in the right place at the right time. I decided to randomly take a video. You know, it was a two and a half minute video of how I got the picture. And I'm thinking, you know, this is really hard. You know, people don't understand, like, what goes behind getting a picture. And so, that's what started this channel, is I really wanted to be able to share with you guys how I got the shot, what it took to get the picture, how I got the picture, what equipment I used, and also my settings. It was It's a big deal to me in some ways. Um, how I learn is by seeing how people use their settings in different ways to get different pictures. Um, and you know, not a lot of photographers do that. It's kind of strange, a little bit silly to me, um, but a lot of photographers don't share their settings. They choose not to, giving away the trade. I don't really know what, um, what the reasoning is for it, but I find it a little silly. And I wanted to be able to share that with you guys. And for people that are wanting to learn photography, for people that are wanting to get better at photography, um, anything like that. So that was really what the goal was with this, um, with this YouTube channel was to inspire people to be able to share with you guys my, how I got the shot. Um, and yeah, share my adventures with you guys. It's been a lot of fun. I love sharing these with you guys. I love sharing um, comments and um, talking back and forth and just um, chatting a little bit. So that's what this channel was all about. And um, I'm pretty excited that I started it. There's lots to come in 2017 with this channel, different videos that I'm going to be giving you guys. Um, but I would love to hear what you guys think about the channel. I would love to hear um, ideas of what you guys would like to see. So if you could leave a comment below, that would be awesome. And I would just love to chat with you guys. So that's how this channel got started. That was the beginning of my 2016. And then it kind of went from there. So I have a couple really favorite videos, a couple really favorite images of 2016. And it really started off with Fort Bragg. So the Fort Bragg trip was a fun trip. It was, it's beautiful up there. If you guys haven't had a chance to go, go, because it's gorgeous. Um, but you know, I got some of my favorite images of the ocean at that trip and I got to share it with you guys. How I got it, um, how I got the photos, how I got the, uh, the waves splashing over the rocks, how I got the difference with the sunset and it going down and the color changes and everything like that. So I was really excited to be able to share that adventure with you guys and then to get these images. So I, there was two images that came out of that adventure and these are them. My next favorite trip was my backpacking trip. I created a, a series of videos. It's days, um, it's days on the trail. So I went and backpacked the Ansel Adams Wilderness 
and um, it was quite a long haul. It was four days and three nights on the trail. It was a through hike, and it was a blast. Um, there was a few images out of that trip that I just love, 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 <laughs> and um, I got to share it with you guys. I created like so three videos out of that. I try to keep my videos short and sweet, 10 minutes or under, just so, um, just so they're not too long, but that's why I split that trip up into three, is so that way they were under the 10 minute mark. That's just something that I prefer. Um, so anyways, that was fun, and my very favoritest image came out of that, and that is this one right here. So then comes October and the fall colors and everything like that. My favorite time of year is fall. I love aspens. I love the colors, the warmth, just the feeling that fall brings. Um, the, the weather starts to change, gets a little bit cooler. It's, it's my favorite. And so Hope Valley is a place that I go every year. And that picture that I got at Hope Valley is up there. It, there's a little cabin out there. If you guys haven't gotten a chance to see the video, do so. Um, it's a great place to go during the fall. If you want to see fall colors here in California, that's a really good trip to go to. Um, or to go on, but there's a little cabin, and it's just quiet and sweet and kind of majestic, and there's aspens all around, and it's just gorgeous. Um, so anyways, that is a trip that I love to do. It's something that will always be up on the top of my list every year. It's just fun. Um, it's beautiful, and it really starts off the fall holiday type season for me, um, but this picture right here is my favorite. So after Hope Valley, um, I went on a couple other adventures. I shared a few other photos with you guys, a few other videos, and, you know, I was so excited come Christmas Eve that I was able to mark an image off of my bucket list. So this is just, I was ecstatic about it. Um, and it's really my Fox image. So whether anybody wants to admit it or not, um, we all have a bucket list of what we want to do, things we want to do, um, places we want to go, but photographers have a bucket list as well for the kind of photos that they want to get a type of photo, a place. It, it's an inspiration for us. It's a place that, um, you know, it's something that keeps us going. It keeps us wanting to, like, I really need to get this shot or I really want to get that one or have it look just like this. Um, you know, it's, it's just what we do. So I have a bucket list. Um, a lot of photographers don't like to admit that they have a photography bucket list, but they probably do. And on my photography bucket list was getting a picture of a fox. Not just a fox. It had to be a wild fox. Not something that you could see in a zoo. Um, and I had a little bit of low hopes that I was actually going to be getting that shot anytime, ever. And um, mainly because they come out in the evening and at night. You hardly ever see foxes anywhere. And if you do, it's a real quick, like they ran across the road. Um, so I was able to get a picture of a fox come Christmas Eve, and there's a few pictures that I just absolutely love out of that. I had a little stakeout session, I, I had my hot tea, I had jackets, blankets, and I kind of just sat there and waited for the little guy to come out, and so he came out, and he came out with a friend, and it was awesome, but this picture is my favorite one out of that. So that is 2016 in review. I had a couple awesome things happen that weren't outside of the YouTube channel. Um, I was a finalist in a photo contest with over 60,000 people. That was my Bodhi image. And that was amazing. 60,000 people, and I made it to the top 20. I was super stoked. Um, 
But so that picture is pretty much my favorite picture. I love it. I hit Bodhi just right. It was taken in 2015. Um, but that happened and that was amazing. And then the other thing that happened was I was um, interviewed on TV. I was so nervous. <laughs> I was on TV. I've never been on TV before. And um, the channel asked if they, if they could interview me and just have a quick seven minute interview about my photography and what I do. Of course I said yes. And um, anyway, so that was super excited. I was, I was thrilled to be able to have that opportunity. So those are two major things that happened in 2016 for me that were just amazing. So that was 2016. So 2017, what's to come? What's this year hold in store? So typically I like to keep things a little bit open when it comes to my adventures and mainly because I want to be able to get up and go. If something triggers my curiosity or inspires me to be able to go get a picture of it, I want to be able to get up and go rather than, no. Oh, I've got all these plans that I have to go do, so I keep my adventuring open a little bit. I do have a couple things um, scheduled, already on the schedule or in the plans. Mainly another reason I like to keep it open is I do have a portrait side of my photography. This YouTube channel is all about my adventuring, my landscape photography, and I want to keep it with that only. I don't share my portraits on here, I don't share that side of my business. Um, but if you guys are curious and you want to see, I do share it on my website. It's BessieYoung.Photography. And um, that's just something if you guys want to see my portraits, that's where I keep them. I also post them on my Facebook page and my, um, my Instagram page. So if you guys want to see portraits that I take, go ahead and check it out there. But this channel is really all about landscapes. So... With my portraits, I do get booked, and it books a lot of my weekends. So, again, I like to keep my adventuring a little bit open and flexible, planned, or in the plans. And um, one of that is a road trip to Wyoming to see the solar eclipse. So, here in California, or not in California, here in the United States, there is a strip that um, you'll be able to see the full solar eclipse and part of that is um, located in Wyoming. So I thought it would be a fun road trip to take and that's gonna be in August and of course I'll share it with you guys um, but my goal is to really get you know sections of that solar eclipse as it occurs and then um, put it into maybe one big picture. So I'm hopeful for that one. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, but that is one thing that I have planned for sure in August. And then another thing is I'm planning another backpacking trip. I will share that adventure with you guys. I'm not sure where it's, um, I'm not sure of the details yet. It will be sometime in July and I'll probably be sharing that sometime in August or September so I can put all the videos together. But that is um, something that I do plan on doing. It will be a multiple day hike. It's going to be a through hike just like this one um, that I did in 2016. So anyways, that's another thing um, that I do have planned for sure. I'm just getting um, all the logistics figured out. So those are the plans for 2017. I do have one major goal in 2017. I wasn't able to accomplish it in 2016. And um, that is to create a calendar. So I tried to create a calendar for 2016, or in 2016 for a 2017 calendar. Unfortunately, I just wasn't able to get it right. So I went to multiple print shops, I got multiple samples, and nothing fit the bill. I just didn't like how they were turning out. I want it to look nice and I want it to be nice and, and something worthwhile. And so I didn't want to just throw it together and say, here's, here's a calendar. I wanted it to be a very nice calendar um, and to be able to share it and sell it with, um, show it with you guys so, and sell it on my website. So that was a goal uh, that I had that I wasn't able to accomplish in 2016. But 2017, I'm going to um, keep going to different print shops and um, get that nailed down. I plan on starting to sell the calendar um, sometime in October. So I'm really excited about that. I think it's going to be awesome, but that is to come um, this fall. 
So anyway, stay tuned for that one. And then um, one thing I forgot to mention is 2016 I started selling my landscape prints. This was a big, big deal for me. I have always wanted to. It's been a huge goal for me. And I finally was able to get my images on my website and start selling them. So um, that was super exciting, something that happened in 2016 as well. If you guys want to see the pictures that are for sale, again, they're on my website. It's BessieYoung.Photography. It's really easy. It's just my name, dot .Photography. So um, if you guys want to see those, I was really excited to be able to start offering that to people um, and start doing that. So with all of that being said, I really just needed to take a moment and thank you guys. Thank you for all your love and support. I truly appreciate it. I wouldn't be able to do what I love to do without you guys. I know it sounds pretty cheesy, um, but it's so true. I, I started this YouTube channel to be able to share my adventures and my behind the scenes, how I got the shot with you guys. Um, and I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for um, all your support. For your comments, suggestions, your likes, your everything. I, I really appreciate it. And again, like I said, I wouldn't be able to do this without you. So um, thank you. Thank you so much. And um, if you guys like these videos or this one, give it a big old thumbs up. Um, it really helps me out when you guys do that. And then also, if you haven't already, you can subscribe to my channel. There's a little subscribe button down below. Um, and then you can get a little notification of when I post a new video. And it's going to be all about my adventures this year. So I would love for you guys to follow along with me. Um, again, in the descriptions, I always put my camera gear, um, my blog post about the adventure. And um, I also answer any questions that you have. I read every question so um, or every comment so and I, I like to comment back so if you have a comment or a suggestion or a question or anything like that um, leave a comment. Leave a comment below and also um, I just love to chat about photography so anyways if you guys have questions about it don't forget to leave comments for me and um, that's it. That's 2016 and 2017 Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate you guys. I really do. And I can't wait to share my adventures with you. And I'll see you in the next video.